we know that it's a surveillance balloon, uh, and I'm not going to be able to be more specific than that. Uh, we do know that the balloon has violated U.S. airspace and international law, uh, which is unacceptable. Off the top of five today, the Pentagon is tracking a Chinese spy balloon that is drifting towards the east coast of the United States. That balloon is roughly the size of two school buses. And we're now hearing from Chinese leaders who claim it's a weather balloon used for research which deviated from its planned course. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House following it all. Ben. Calvin, Nicole, Florida lawmakers do not buy China's story and want the U.S. to shoot down the balloon. But the White House said not so fast as that move could actually put civilians in harm's way. Are you worried about the balloon? The commander-in-chief left the White House Friday facing questions on a suspected Chinese spy balloon seen in the stratosphere over the northern U.S. We know that it's a surveillance balloon. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to be more specific than that. China says it's a weather balloon used for research, claiming it deviated from its planned course due to wind. Uh, we do know that the balloon has violated U.S. airspace and international law, uh, which is unacceptable. The Pentagon has been tracking the high-altitude balloon for days, which is traveling above where commercial aircrafts fly. So far, U.S. officials say it's gone over and will proceed over nuclear and missile facilities. In response, Florida Republican lawmakers want the U.S. to shoot it down. Senator Marco Rubio tweeting, This is not some hot air balloon. It has a large payload of sensors, roughly the size of two city buses, and the ability to maneuver independently. Senator Rick Scott adds, She is blatantly spying on America because he does not fear or respect Joe Biden. Communist China is our enemy, and Biden needs to wake up and start acting like it. But military leaders say the balloon poses no threat and have decided not to shoot it down, in part due to the risk of debris against civilians. Once we detected the balloon, the U.S. government acted immediately to protect against the collection of sensitive information. In light of China's unacceptable action, I am postponing my planned travel this weekend to China. So the balloon is putting further strain on U.S.-China relations as right now it is flying 60,000 feet in the air cross-country. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Ben, thank you.